She may not look it. She's accused of a particularly brutal crime. If found guilty, she may be spending the rest of her life in prison. Oh. Rosemary Vandekar is no ordinary inmate. She's a college-educated mother of six. It's a cool one. Career, and by all accounts, spent most of her life on the right side of the law. I have a background as the executive director of a mediation center nonprofit that helps as mediators between attorneys and courts and procedures. And a background in restorative justice, helping people stay out of prison and stay out of jail. And here I am. In February of 2010, police are called to the home of an elderly man who has stopped breathing. A seemingly ordinary death until the coroner finds signs of strangulation. Bandicar, the man's caregiver, and her 25-year-old son live in the apartment as well. They are both arrested, and under interrogation, Rosemary takes responsibility for the crime. <coughs> A confession she now claims was coerced. In a lot of ways, going to trial, I'm no. relieved. I know that we have a really strong case, and it's been hard sitting in here. It's been a little difficult. So, on the outward side, I'm strong and I'm composed, and my faith is really strong. There's always that little nagging thing that it's hard. Even in the best of circumstances, it's not going to be fun. I am going to fight and either convince one person to me that right needs to prevail, that I did not commit this crime, and I will walk out of this situation. No, I'm going to die here. It's not an in-between anymore. It, it is what it is. As Rosemary steps closer to her fate, upstairs, another inmate is ready for his day in court as well. Ivan Rios has been here for three years now, facing charges from a life spun out of control. 